Hello everyone, um, this journal here is something that I'm sending someone just as a little thank you gift. She's commissioned a larger order, um, which I'll be showing, I'm going to have to do a separate video for this. Um, so this is just a little thank you journal that I'm going to send her along with it. Um, she's a friend I made in one of the junk journal groups. I think it was Junk Journal Junkies Boutique when I was selling the last one. So this one here is just a simple envelope journal. I started with a 9 by 12 envelope and it's two signatures. They were originally going to be the first and last signatures in the larger book, but I'll tell you why they're not in there later. Um, there's a little charm on a garment pin with beads. The ribbon is from Ooh La La Crafts from Christy de Salza. And I forgot, that is actually a pocket. I was meaning to put a tag in there with like lace and ribbon sticking up, so I'll do that later. I dyed the seam binding myself. Um, what was I going to say about the seam? I've been, I haven't had any sleep. I can't think straight. Oh yeah, I wanted to do a bright colour for a change. So this is the side. The boho charm is the same place I got them. You know, the ones from the last video. And I'll link in the description because I can't remember the name of the shop now. I know it's shabby something, but I won't stop and think about it because I waste so much time. Um, that's from Embellished Collage, Dreams, etc. Like a dusky mauve pink lace. Um, these charms I will be listing in my Etsy shop, along with the garment tags, guest checks and other stuff. Um, I'm just waiting for a few other things to come rather than just list a couple of things. It's a key and the heart you'll see in a minute. So let's get in there. Can't believe I've spent that long, not even got into the journal. Um, book plate with a tag. So it's a book plate and a pocket. Kirby Teasdale papers which Mary, the person who these two journals are for, actually sent me. So thank you, Mary. These are the old design shop, the French journal pages, and Artie Mays. I don't know how clear this is. I hope it's... I should have zoomed in. You... No, don't go up to it with the... Sorry, everyone. Right. Never have the phone too close. Right, so vellum, dreams, etc. Some decoupage on one of Denise's doilies. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, that, I don't know why it's in there. So this ribbon with the ruched um, fleur-de-lis is from Dotty Chic One on eBay. She's got this gorgeous shabby chic craft supply store, so you really need to check her out. This is embossed vellum. Sue Olson, the innkeeper's journal, Wings of Whimsy. That organza ribbon, which is gorgeous was wrapped around trims I had from SM Tiffany Lane and some of them are in this journal. That's from On Trend Fabrics UK. Graphics Fairy Premium. Uh, I forgot to paperclip that down. Okay, Dreams Etc. It would stay down if it was paperclip like it's meant to be. That is a tuck spot in itself. Then this concertina's out. Either way, <clears throat> I know this is going to be a terrible quality video again. I need to ask you all in another video about YouTube cameras because I don't know what to buy. Oh, there we go. 
Tsunami. Okay, that's a Tsunami Rose. Some nice grungy coffee dyeing. These little tickets are from a blog called Shawgill Creations. The vellum, I printed all these vellums myself because I've just about run out of the Santoro ones. Um, and I get the printables from that free Digi Stamps blog spot. It's Graphics Monarch. I buy printables from his shop as well. I love his stuff. Um, those tickets are Dreams Etc. They're from version two of um, Vintage Love Story. Okay, so some Sears and Roebuck perfumes from the old design shop with some Henderson's seed catalogue uh, roses I printed on the back, also the old design shop. We've got the lavender and jasmine scented papers by Beaujardin. I've done some decoupaging and this absolutely gorgeous lace here. I did add it to the last one of these, uh, no, uh, the last one of the pink ones, but after the video, because it arrived late. Lava's Lace is the lace seller that does it, and I love this. On the page, I've punched, added um, those rings, the whole reinforcers, and I've attached a charm with a jump ring. And I'd love to claim that this was my idea, but it's not. It's Denise's. Um, Denise, who is Practice Makes Pretty and a Tattered Dream. Okay, this is like embossed pearlescent paper with doves and hearts and flowers. It's lovely. And even the back is uh, pearlescent. Printed lace as usual. And for some reason I fancy doing a different type of lace tipping. And it's actually quite annoying and floppy. Um, okay. Rosemary Verre or Vire, the scented garden those pages are from. My usual doily dying. I love it. I just love it. I know that Mary doesn't want to write in these journals, so I can waste pages that are for writing. These bags, which are lovely, are from the Lemon Cat. Um, I die cut these little doilies. That's a Marion Smith butterfly. And I punched out the pink butterfly, or Donna did. She may have uh, punched it out for me. So, oh my God, Prima Tales of Us. And if anyone can still get hold of Tales of Us in a 12 by 12, please let me know. And I'm gonna do something inside there, I just forgot. This gorgeous ruffle lace here, isn't this stunning, is SM Tiffany Lane. I'm, I feel like I'm chasing the phone now. Sorry, everyone, because I'm not holding it, but I'm trying to... Hello. It's like you're only filming the corner. So there's mason jars on a string, which is Donna Jameson's um, thing. I opened it yeah I have I'll circle punch by there so you can see as a pocket I just cut that from the lace trim the um sagan roses love how that came out those doilies it even picked out the embossing from the center of the doily um and they were sent to me by Christina why has it gone dark we're in the light right Oh, I don't know everyone. When I get a decent camera, my videos won't be crap anymore. So I can just set them on a tripod. This is, um, oh, I didn't mean to touch that side. Oh, no. This is transparency film. It's the stuff that you print uh, photo negatives on. And I'm sorry for jigging the journal about, but the phone just isn't where it should be. I don't know. So lace pocket. This really, really pretty lace. It's, it's a cheap lace. 
for me, is a cheap place anyway. Um, well, for anyone, it is a cheap place, but it's, it is gorgeous. This cute pink fluffy stuff is from Denise's shop, A Tattered Dream. Old design shop. And those perfume tags, I just love them. So you've got the scented papers again. I hope the video won't be on an angle like it is from where I'm looking. It's, everything's at a funny angle. I hope people won't have to watch it like that. William Morris um, washi tape again. I love William Morris. Grungy coffee dye in. Gorgeous colours. So I die cut these cute little mini envelopes. And inside is pink with writing. No, you did it again. Like French handwriting. Um, what have I done anything inside the pocket? Yeah, so you it folds out and you've got a rose inside. My printer is on the fritz now, so I've had to start using um, printables like those, which I wasn't planning to use. I think it needs servicing if someone can't help me. I, I don't know if I've put the door on wrong. So I did some embossing here, some heat embossing. Uh, there's a pocket. I've got some envelopes done. I'll, I'll probably put an envelope in there with something in it. Hopefully I can print something. So it's a flip with a cameo as a closure. I'll just leave it loose and decoupage. Where you see areas that are quite bare, I think that looks pretty even though it's, it's the back of something. Oh no, it's where I sprayed it. I don't know what I've done there. But I just think it looks pretty. I might leave that. Um, so lace, and it looks really grungy. And we've got that gorgeous ribbon again from Dotty Chic. Denise's doilies again. Vellum. I, I love that page, it's just gorgeous. And there's a bit of shimmer shimmery pink on there this stuff here it's like a thick textured it's actually recycled children's drawing paper and it's like a yellow color and every journal i do there'll be like one or two pages of this paper in there for a different texture everyone's been asking about this dye it's a sue wilson mini edge dye by creative expressions and this design is called vila or v-e-l-a anyway the back of uh, one of julie's journal pages old design shop so all arty maze with the french frames it's a rose from you yeah, those from you. That's another of uh, Julie's journal pages. Whenever I say Julie, I mean the old design shop. It's gold embossed stuff. And I think we had the silver in the first signature. So this is an antique uh, French fashion magazine. And I know I won't even remember the name when I'm doing the video. When I haven't slept, I'm hopeless and... Like now, I'll waffle and repeat myself. Graphics Fairy Premium. I printed like an antique envelope as a background there. It just adds interest. So another Kirby Teasdale paper with the ribbon through it. Sorry everyone for continually moving the journal. Can I just move the phone so I don't have to... Because people will have a headache watching this. Um, what's I going to say? Die cut pocket. This is so pretty. Nostalgia graphic land, and I printed that on the back from Digital Magpie. That's been in my stash forever, but it is Wings of Whimsy, which is just my favourite um, printable blog ever. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? 
I've been dying to use that for ages. I finally used it. My favourite trim ever from Denise's shop. Gold roses on like a shiny vellum. I think that was a laser vellum. I didn't print that one myself. Biodegradable brown glassine from La Box Boutique. Winds of Whimsy. My favourite scan of old lace. Last strings, etc. as well. Antique typewriter paper from the paper basket, Katie's shop. More vellum. And I love the way you can see that through the vellum there. This embossed foiled paper. Ribbon and roses. So this is deli paper, you know, that you would like wrap your sandwiches in with the dreams etc big spool tag I thought it made a cool pocket and do you know what I forgot I left that gap there deliberately I'm going to put a trim along there I'm going to put a new la la ribbon there I think and add charms to it I know it must be doing all your heads in that I keep moving the journal sorry um, this is a let's try and get it in position this is um, a French receipt from Julie's shop my favourite receipt for some reason. Old design shop freebie and the other one of these labels is a freebie. Key charm. These are just my favourite freebie ever. Also from Julie's shop. And they're from Buttrix. They're like, I think they were many off vouchers. I love that clip art. That's the graphics fairy. Another perfume tag from Nostalgia Graphic Land. And a Wings of Whimsy tag. All the roses and clip arts are graphics fairy uh, premium. The roses are premium anyway. Love that from Artie Mays. Okay, this is another Donna Jameson thing. This gorgeous ribbon that Donna sent me. Um, this Jack Hood, however you say it, embroidered ribbon. And I feel like the phone's a bit blurry, everyone. I don't know. And if it is, I'm sorry. With pearls and lace on the other side. And it's just the way the lace sticks out with it. Love how the dyeing came out on this page. So you've got the mason jars. They're the Artie Mays mason jars, and I've just shrunk them way down. May, oh no, I won't add anything to that. I really love that though. Sorry about the finger over the lens. I probably will add additional things to this later. I meant to say, these things that you've been seeing, I chopped down the French journal pages of Julie's to make tuck spots. And I did it just so there's like a double tuck spot there. And I've just been adding filigrees to them. I love this page. That's Graphics Fairy Premium. And I would have made it into a tuck spot, but I didn't think until the last minute. Like a lace butterfly there. Just a few bits and pieces. That's graphics fairly premium in case I haven't said. Doves. That up there is covering up a mistake I made. And there's um this telegram tag. I've added a pen nib and I just die cut this little mini tag. And added like right into it. I can see that's blurry. I know it is. There's all sorts in there, but I won't show you everything. It'd just be too much taking it all out. It, there are things here like I'll probably add a bit of trim to the edge of that. Isn't she cute? She's so cute.
And I'll see if um, Mary wants me to put another pocket on there or something. Oh, that's a Cavallini sticker. I, I just know this video is going to be all blurry. Um, it's been ages since I've done a video, everyone. I'm just not used to it anymore. So this is a full page pocket. And I forgot to put something in it. I will put something in there. You've got to have some surprises anyway. <clears throat> so there's a flip up, flip down. Oh no, I did it as an envelope this time. So it's a little envelope. Again, I'll put something in there. Another one of Sue's. Uh, you know, the innkeeper's journal. The embossed glassine type doilies are also from Denise's shop. I get these embossed papers locally because uh, a few people have asked me and she, the shop doesn't have a website. So I'd probably add like um, maybe a deep sheer lace pocket there, but I don't know, it, it looks pretty as it is. But anyway, this is a present for you, Mary, um, to go with the journal you bought. So I hope you like it. And I'll see you all soon because now I've got to film the big journal. This was just a warm up. See you all. Thanks. Bye.